Oh, no. What have you done, Goldilocks? What did you do? Goldilocks. Oh, no. You're causing trouble. Goldilocks. You should go home. You're causing trouble. Goldilocks. You should go home. You should go home. You should go home. This pear is too big. Uh huh. Hmm. This pear is too small. Ew. I can't see a thing out of these. Ah. Uh, yeah. This pair of eyeglasses is just right. Yes. I can see you just fine. Hello, friend. Ruby here. I am tickled pink that you joined me today. I hope you have been behaving yourself. Uh huh. From what I can see, your behavior is outstanding. However, there are some children that need to work on their behavior. Oh. I have an idea. Good. How about I tell you a story about a child who had very bad behavior? Great. So you will know how not to act. Are you ready, my friend? Yes. Let's begin. Once upon a time, there lived three bears who lived in a cottage of their own out in the deep, deep woods. There was a papa bear, a mama bear, and a teensy weensy little baby bear. They were the happiest family. They ate together, read stories together, and even played board games together. Do you have a favorite board game you like to play? Yes! Ooh, that's a good one. I love to play that game, too. When I was a child, I would play indoor games, outdoor games, water balloon games, hide-and-go-seek games. Ooh, oh, dear. My mind is wondering. <laughs> Let's get back to the story. One morning, Mama Bear prepared the most beautiful breakfast as it was Teensy-Weensy Little Baby Bear's birthday. She made him his favorite breakfast item. A pot of porridge. That's kind of like oatmeal. She placed the oatmeal on the table, but it was steaming hot. Way too hot to eat. So, the family of bears decided to take a little walk. They thought it would be great fun to walk through the woods and play a game of hide-and-go-seek while they let the porridge cool. And that's exactly what they did. One, two... Three, four, five. Now, where did you hide? <gasps> found you. Oh, dear. You found me, my love. Where is that little baby bear? Hmm, wherever could he be? <laughs> there you are. You found me too, Papa. And they continued to play hide-and-go-seek several times. Now, do you remember when I told you I was going to tell you how not to act? Yes! Well, listen to this. While the bears were having a wonderful time outside, minding their own business, there was a little girl named Goldilocks walking down the path, looking for trouble. She saw an adorable cottage off in the distance and thought to herself, <laughs> I'm going to go knock on the door. If no one answers, I'm going to go inside and see what I can find. If I see something I want, I'll take it. It will be mine, mine, mine. Now, does that sound like a way to behave? Of course it doesn't. That's showing very bad behavior. Hello? Anybody home? Said Goldilocks. But no one answered, as the adorable bear family was still outside in the forest, playing hide-and-go-seek. So here is where all the trouble begins. Goldilocks opens the door and follows her nose. Something smells wonderful! At that very moment, Goldilocks walks right into the kitchen, where Mama Bear had prepared the morning breakfast. 
The table looked darling. What does Goldilocks do? She sits anywhere her little selfish heart desires. First, she tasted the porridge of the Papa Bear, and that was too hot for her. Next, she tasted the porridge of the Mama Bear, and that was too cold for her. And then she moved on to the teensy weensy baby bear's bowl. And that was just right. She ate every last bit of the baby bear's porridge. Well, she moved on into the living room where she saw three chairs. She needed to sit down a bit as her tummy was grumbling. She sat in the papa bear's chair. Ugh, this chair is too big. Then, Mama Bear's chair. This chair is too small. She sat in the teensy weensy baby bear's chair, and it was just right. She rocked back and forth, back and forth, and all of a sudden, crash! She broke the chair. Oh no. What have you done, Goldilocks? What did you do? Goldilocks, oh no, you're causing trouble. Goldilocks, you should go home. You're causing trouble. Goldilocks, you should go home. You should go home. You should go home. The selfish little girl was exhausted after all the trouble she had caused. She decided to go into the bedroom where all three bears had their beds. <sighs> I'm going to lie down here and take a nap before I head home. She laid on the Papa Bear's bed. This bed is way too big. Then she laid on the Mama Bear's bed. This bed is too small. And of course, she went to the teensy weensy baby bear's bed. And what do you think she said? You're right. She said, this bed is just right for me. And off to La La Land she went. <whistles> Meanwhile, the bears were finished with their outdoor game of hide-and-go-seek and were headed back to the cottage. As they opened the door and entered the kitchen, the Papa Bear said gruffly, Somebody been eating my porridge! Then the Mama Bear said, Somebody has been eating my porridge! And the teensy-weensy baby bear said, Somebody been eating my porridge and they ate all of it! The three bears sensed something was wrong here. They entered the living room. Somebody been sitting in my chair, said the Papa Bear. Oh boy, someone has been sitting in my chair too, said the Mama Bear. And it was a dreadful sight. Somebody's been sitting in my chair and it's broken now. <laughs> the teensy weensy baby bear cried. Oh no, what have you done, Goldilocks? What did you do, Goldilocks? Oh no, you're causing trouble, Goldilocks. You should go home. You should go home. We have a problem here. I smell trouble. Follow me close behind, and let's see who is in the bedroom said the Papa Bear. The bears quietly entered into the bedroom. Somebody been sleeping in my bed, said the Papa Bear. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, and look at that, wrinkled up my bed sheets, said the Mama Bear. <gasps> Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, and look, she's still sleeping and snoring. The bears let out the biggest growls. The growls were so loud, it woke Goldilocks up right away. 
She was so scared. She quickly hopped out of the bed and ran out of the house as fast as she could. Woo! I don't know about you, but I would never go into someone's house uninvited. That's just bad behavior all around, isn't it? I heard her parents took away her electronics for several weeks after that display of very bad <laughs> behavior. Thank you for joining me here on Family Roberto. I hope you enjoyed the story. I am so proud of your behavior. Keep up the good work, my friend. I'll see you next time.